It's a baby's life. It's our future. You could be running over the future president. Ouch. Classes just began for many green country schools, but districts are already seeing an unsettling number of drivers going around stop school buses. In tonight's Project Safe Schools, two works for use Laureen calendar shows us one jinx school bus driver's experience and how law enforcement officials are cracking down on this problem. Jinx bus driver Karen Keithline says she sees drivers blow past her stop school bus almost daily. My heart was beating 100 miles an hour because it's like, no, oh, no, 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 no. A driver for the Jinx School District for 20 years. She says the amount of people ignoring the stop sign at bus stops has gotten worse. When they're coming at me, I can usually see if they're going to stop or not because they'll have their head down looking at their phone. While there are cameras to watch the kids on the bus, she wishes they had cameras on the stop arms to watch the drivers like Bixby school buses. Their stop arms go out and if they were on our stop arms, then we could get a picture of the license plate and the driver themselves. Tulsa police officer Craig Heatherly says he wrote three citations on Tuesday outside apartment complexes near East 41st Street and 169. Absolutely blew the stop signs from the school bus. Didn't slow down. Didn't even acknowledge the school bus was there. He's made it his personal mission to ensure safety in school zones and at bus stops after he worked a fatality in a school zone during his first week in the traffic unit. That just kind of stuck with me and uh, what I would like to do is end my career without ever having to work another one. Under city ordinance, the penalty is a maximum of $500 fine with the potential of up to 90 days in jail. The state also has the option to suspend the driver's license for a year following conviction. Reporting live in Tulsa, Lauren Callender, Two Works For You.